I, I feel like that childlike curiosity just comes alive in me. When I was a, a young child, I lived in, the, in Michigan and we, we um, explored through the woods and played in the woods and, and we got to experience the seasons and I was so fascinated with just nature and the colors and the textures and everything that was so rich and vibrant around me. I often draw a lot of inspiration from my own imagination and my own memories. We live near the ocean and the mountains and it just brings in a sense of calm and a sense of tranquility and peace and um, I really want to infuse that in the work that I paint. I want people to feel a sense of hope and a sense of peace when they see my work. I'm Lisa Vanderbee and I am a fine artist and I'm very excited because this is a completely new journey in my life. I have never had any experience with art and sketching, painting before and as of about eight months ago I learned how to oil paint and it has brought so much joy into my life that I have just really wanted to share my journey, my artist's journey with other people and let them know that that there is um, the possibility and the hope of finding an incredibly exciting second chapter to your life, no matter what stage of life you're in, no matter what age you are, that you can find something that brings you tremendous joy and potentially might turn into a business. I came to a, a time in my life where this other calling um, inspired me to go get my degrees in psychology. I have a love for the human spirit and for inspiring people and helping people that are in, in a state of suffering and, and trauma. So I became a therapist and um, I never fully put my artistic tendencies on the, on the back burner. There was always something I was dabbling in. I was always doing a play or shooting a television commercial or taking a voiceover class. But then my father passed away and it just stopped me dead in my tracks and it just really made me realize how precious and short life is and it it basically stirred that longing in me that hunger in me as an artist and I had no idea at that point in my life how I would reignite my artist desire but I found this amazing mentor and I started to paint uh, with oil paintings in particular never having studied art before as a child or as an adult and really having no interest in painting but I realized that something just came alive in me I felt this tremendous sense of joy and just a giddiness to be able to create and have a new voice a new way of expressing myself that I never even had an, any idea that I had in me so this is like opening up the back of the armoire like in the Chronicles of Narnia. I mean seriously, that's exactly what it feels like. Certainly skyscapes always fascinate me. I've had such a, a love for the constellations and the night sky and, and um, since my father passed away just always looking at the cloud formations and the colors and the richness there. Um, I also love painting oceans and seascapes and uh, landscapes with trees and lush foliage. So I'm always experimenting on canvas to see what I can create and um, learning new techniques to be able to impart just um, distance and, and, um, and, and um, context, creating a, a feeling that you can step into the picture or that you're literally in the picture yourself, which I think is exciting. You know, art is a medium, um, not unlike the other creative avenues that I've been able to um, be blessed to express, acting, singing, voiceover work. Art is a medium, it's, it's like a megaphone, it's an opportunity to have a voice. And I think in today's world, people oftentimes want to feel heard, and they want to be able to tell their story. And when we bear witness to each other's lives, it gives purpose and meaning to our life. And I think people are really longing to find purpose and meaning and so art is much more expansive than just a painting it's it's an opportunity to express yourself your voice um, to tell your story to um, inspire other people so I think being able to paint or sing or dance or sculpt or basket weave it doesn't matter what medium you choose it's really about connecting developing relationships with other people and and creating a sense of, um, of unity with other people. 
You know, I started with watercolor as just a way of processing grief after my father passed away. Um, and mind you, I had had no experience in painting, so it was, it was very infantile and very amateur. And then I went to a live painting demonstration that I just felt like maybe this was something I needed to test out. And you never know what you're going to encounter until you actually give yourself the opportunity to discover something new. And that's really what I did. I gave myself an opportunity to really open up a new door. Well, you know, I'm a baby boomer, and I think there's many people my age and slightly older that hit a time in their life where they've given so much to creating a career path, to building that career, to giving of themselves um, to other people through that through that avenue, but they really find themselves feeling burned out or disillusioned, uh, overworked, underappreciated, um, just really not longing to do that sort of work anymore. So I think it's amazing how many people are now looking within themselves, hoping to find kind of what was that early yearning that maybe was there even as a kid that never really got stoked. It never really got acknowledged or seen or nurtured. And now they're hungry to do it, but they're so scared because financially they're planning for retirement. They've got a family, they've got commitments, they've, they've got a mortgage, and it's not that easy to just suddenly shift out of this, you know, well-earning job into some type of artistic endeavor. And yet I'm finding with mine that as I dedicate a lot of time to developing and honing this new craft, that my art is selling already after eight months, which is unusual, but I think it's possible. And I think that's what's so exciting is that I am such a great example for other people that are feeling stuck, that are feeling hopeless or feeling burnt out and feeling disillusioned, that there is absolutely a path for them as well. And I really hope that my journey will inspire other people in their 50s and 60s and 70s that really need to reassess um, maybe there's been a loss in their life, or maybe there's been financial setback, or just the desire to really kind of get in touch with who they really are on the inside. And I think that when we really tap into that part of ourselves, that we feel such a congruence with who we really are, that that's when things start to flourish. And it's not so much about building a business that will be successful. It's more about getting in touch with who you really are because if you do what you love, it will absolutely succeed. I think that anyone who's 50 and older who is looking to make a change in their life, that they should absolutely take that desire seriously. Grab hold of it. Surround yourself with people that will support you and just go for it.